Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee North. Yeah, you know I'm gonna give you a video. But this is a short one. Um, when I say it's short, because I'm only making some. Some salmon and some sweet rice for me and the mister. And the other ones, uh, 22 year old son is eating wings, grandson 19, grilled cheese. So it's a, it's a Thursday night meal. Yeah. And I'm also wearing, can you see it? Yeah, one of the merch. So, I want to thank everybody for responding to my um, my post, and um, the ones who uh, that were chosen. I sent your email. So. Be checking the email. If you didn't send me your address, send me the address. Yeah. Because um, I want to get these out to you. And I just want you to know I really appreciate it. Yeah. So, and I'm also in this video here. I'm going to make some fried pies. Um, I had a subscriber, um, Ruth Ann Jones down in Memphis. She wanted me to make some fried pies. So I'm going to make some fried peach pies is what she wanted. And that's what I got. On the back I, I got some peaches cooking down. And um, yeah. And these are canned peaches. Um, you know I try to keep it simple. I drained all the juice except for the last little bit. When you pour it in you might get a little juice in it. I drain all the juice off. And I got them cooked down. I haven't added any sugar to it yet, but I'm going to add some sugar. I'm going to add some cinnamon and a little nutmeg to it. And just a little vanilla. It's my recipe. You, you put what you want in yours, and I'm going to put what I want in mine. So, yeah. So I'm going to try to pull this meal together. Um, there's a movie, or it's a, a little mini-series, I guess. It's on Hulu. It's a Hulu original called Black Cake. Hit me in the comments, have you started watching? It's only been four episodes, and I'm on the fourth one. So I stopped it so I could get a meal together right quick. Let me know if you've been watching it and what you think. Yeah. So, hold on. Okay, here's my peaches. Now I'm going to add some butter to it. I'm going to add a little butter to it. Just a, about a half a tablespoon, a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Nutmeg. And some cinnamon. And I'm going to add some sugar to it. whatever size can of peaches that you want because you know how much you want. And I'm going to add about not even a half a cup of sugar. A little less than a uh, fourth. A little more than a fourth. And that's the way they look. You want some thickening to it. 
I'm going to let that finish cooking down. And we'll be back with that. Here, I have my rice. And this is going to be sweet rice. So I'm going to put butter in it. I like butter and sugar in my rice. And I like that with salmon. And you know how much sugar you want in your rice, so. Or if you don't eat sugar in your rice, don't put sugar in your rice. But I like sugar in mine. Yeah. That's my rice. I'm going to put a top on and sit it over to the side. And then I'm going to work on my salmons. Hold on. Okay. Here's my can of salmons. And I know you probably know how to do this. You open it up and you take the bones out. It'll come out in one piece if you... If you do it careful enough. So I have to make sure. And these bones right here, they're soft. They've been in the can a while. They will just crush up. Okay, they all came out in one piece. Okay. So now, I'm going to add some onion to it. Yeah. You right, onions and sugar. That's, that's, my, that's my thing. And a salmon or a mackerel, it don't taste good without no onions. Trying to get it out this paper here. I got it tied up. And I have a piece of onion that I was using. I need to go ahead and use it up. And I probably won't put it all in this because it's only one can I'm doing. So, this onion. Yeah. And here's my bowl. So, I'm going to just cut this onion up. And I'm going to do this. You have to be careful if you got a sharp knife. And this is a sharp one. Well, I've made macros before on camera, so. And it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm doing it this way, so when you get ready to slice go across, it's already chopped up. Okay. And like I said, I'm only doing one can because it's just me and the mist are going to eat it. So we don't need all that. And I'll probably get about four out of here. Okay, I think this will be enough onions. And also, I like a green pepper in mine. So I'm just going to cut up a little of this too.
Now, I could have got out the cutting board, but it's just this little. And now I can cut it up just as fast by doing this. One last thing I have to wash. I'm the dishwasher. Yeah. It's taken me a while to learn how to cook just a little bit. Yeah, because some of you are used to having all the kids in the house and back then when they were little, uh, whatever I cooked that was then, it wasn't no two or three items, but now these grown ones, yeah. They can cook for themselves, but um, since I'm already in here, I thought I'd do it and save my new stove. Yeah, Tennessee North had to get a new stove. Because the other one wanted to work when it got ready. You know. You had to hold the pan up and because you put the pan on the eye, it might come on and it might not. So when I caught it on, then I hurry up and put the pan down. Or you had to worry about the back coming on when you turn the front on. They both would be on. Yeah. So before the holidays got started, I said I better go ahead. I know in the other videos, y'all saw that stove that was sitting back there. Well, my sister-in-law moved out of town, and that one's in her shed, she says. Keep you from going into debt? Go on, just get that one. Well, it needed something for the oven. The top worked, but the oven needed something. It was a fairly new stove. But it didn't work. You couldn't get the part. And that's what that looks like. So, yeah, had to go get a brand new one. This one right here has a double oven on it. Maybe that's a good thing for the holidays. I just didn't want no bill before the holidays. Well, I take that back. I'm not having a bill because I paid it off. Oh, and I'm putting in some meal. This is a hemp binder. And I'm just using what I have, and this is what I use, the Martha White. Yeah. Use what you have. It could be self-rising or plain. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put an egg in it. And Simon don't take long to cook. My rice is done. So in this, I'm going to add some black pepper. Okay. And I'm going to add some onion powder. Garlic powder. You know, these are the go-to's. And I'm going to add some salt. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my hands. They're clean. Yeah.
that egg helps bind it. So by the time y'all see this, I'll probably be in the middle of um, my movie, Black Cake. Now, I may get it uploaded today, or may not. I'm going to try. Now, I could have made some biscuits, but Mr. said he don't want any. I ain't mad at him. Mm -mm. So, and you know what I got with this? <sighs> I got a coat. Yeah. And you see how it's sticking together? That's where you want it to be. So it'll hold a patty. Hold on. Let's go to the stove. Okay. I decided to put some peas on. Some green peas. Goes good with salmon and rice. Look to that. I'm going to add a little salt. Some black pepper. Some Sylvia. And I'm gonna add a little butter to that too. Let that simmer. And over here, I have my skillet for my salmons. So I'm going to get five out of here. Hold on. Okay, I flip my Simon. My peas, I'm gonna add a little sugar to them and they're done. That's it for that. Turn my peas off.
Let me get ready to take these up and I'll be back. There go my Simons. Still got one more to take out. Hold on. Here go the Mr.'s plate. Two Simons, sweet peas, rice, and bread. He didn't want no biscuits. And I ain't mad. Mm. Hold on. Oh, before I forget, look at Tennessee North New Stove. I would say an early Christmas present to me. To myself. Yeah. Well deserved. Mr. didn't think so. Okay, let's make some pie crust for the peach pies. Well, you know, I don't do a lot of measuring, so. This right here is a half a cup. I'm gonna put about I'm only gonna make about four or five pies. Not a lot. So I'm gonna use a cup and a half. Because I don't need that much depth. Into this. Hold up. I don't mean to get in front of the camera. Instead of butter, butter I'm going to use shortening. I'm going to change my apron. I didn't want to get flour all over. So in here, I'm just going to put, this is a cup and a half, so I'm going to put maybe, maybe about, About two tablespoons, give or take. I'm not measuring of shortening in here. And that's what it should look like. So I'm gonna work this shortening in this flour until it's like a crumble like, you know? You just wanna work that shortening into the flour. Of course, my hands are clean. Yeah, you know, I keep the bleach water. The reason why I said that, because I always put a cap full of bleach in my dishwater. Uh, something my mom always did. So I do it to keep down germs. You know. If your mom done it, it was probably for a reason. A good one. And I've been doing it ever since I've been on my own. So it doesn't take long to break this all down. I'm going to use cold water. Hold on. Okay. And that's the way it should look. Kind of crumbly like. And here are my peaches. Cooked down. Yeah, they, they'll thicken up. And these are cooled down. So, and the reason why I said hold on a minute... I put some ice in my water. You want to use cold water. It makes the best crust for me. I think so. so I'm going to take this ice out of here now. I 
Okay. Now you want to pour some water in, just enough to get your dough together. Just a little more. And it should come away from the bowl and kind of stick together and come to a ball. Like so. Okay. Now you're going to want to put some flour down. Hold up. Okay, the flour was fogging up my glasses. So I'm going to put some flour down. I'm going to fill my flour up again. And you pour your dough out here. And you want to roll it around here till it's not sticky. Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah, so you want to work it in till it's not sticky. Use plain flour, not self-rising. You don't want to rise in, in your crust. No. So make sure you use plain flour. Now you don't want the pie drip, the pie crust sticky. So you want to keep working it till, till you can get it where you can roll it out. Now when, you, <coughs> when making biscuits, you want self rising. You want it to rise. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this apart because I'm not going to be able to roll all of that out. Take your rolling pin, put a little of the flour on it so it don't stick. And then you roll it as thin as you can get it. Because I put butter in my peaches, it's all right to not have butter in the crust. Because you can put use butter, cold butter, to make your crust. But I always thought that the um, shortening does better to me. And I'm going to use this top right here. Put my circle. Every so often you want to kind of check it so it's not sticky. So 
I'm hoping to get about five, maybe six pies out of here. Well, we'll see. And I tell you, fooling with this, you're going to get dusty and dirty. I might cut three out of here before I have to pick it up. Now, I'm only going to get two out of here. But I have to roll it back out. Now, if you like yours kind of thick, don't roll it then. I'm just showing you how I do mine. these three here then I'm gonna go back and make some more but I'm gonna show you these three Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, you're gonna need one of those. So, gonna take some of my filling, put it in the center, close to one edge. And you don't wanna overfill it, because you're not gonna be able to shut it. And we're gonna close it over, take our fork, and print. That's why you don't want to overfill it.
crimp down with the fork. That holds it together. Give it a little design as well. Yeah, just a little bit in the middle there. I think I put a little more in there. Fold over and crank. So I'm going to get these four done on camera. I can do the rest off camera, but I'm going to do these four on camera. I'm going to keep holding you, but I'm going to let you see how it's done. Hold on. Okay, I got my skillet here. And I'm going to Okay. When they kind of float a little bit and turn, kind of start browning, then you want to flip them. <clears throat> now, I like mine you now kind of brown. I don't like them light. And when mine come out, I sprinkle a little sugar over it. I'll probably turn mine over one more time because I like it kind of brown. Kind of dark. get some paper towels so I can put them on. Soak up the oil. Now you want your oil kind of on the high side. You don't want to cook it slow and soft. You don't want it soft.
Now I'm going to sprinkle a little sugar on these. Why they still warm. Hold on. Okay. This meal is complete. I told you it wasn't going to be a long one. Simon's rice and sweet peas. Yeah, that's my combination. Grew up like that. If I didn't have rice, it would have been fried potatoes. Yeah. So, along with some Lausanne hot sauce and you know the Coke and some ketchup. Yeah, that's why I eat mine. Okay, so. Okay. So. You know, let me speak to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh. And my fried pie. Yeah. So, put these salmons and eat some hot sauce. And I need ketchup. That's why I eat mine. I don't know. It's something about that combination of hot sauce and... Yeah. Let's see what these Simons are talking about. You're always off with the first bite. Is it good? Well, I haven't had none in a while. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. Trying to keep you in shot with the with the plate, but wow. sweet rice. Mm-hmm. Peas. This is a combination to go together. Mm-hmm. That butter in those peas. Oh. Not with this rice. Mm -mm -mm. Took me back to a childhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the way my mom used to do it. She had one or the other. The rice or the fried potatoes. And she always did sweet rice. Now I can eat rice without sugar if I just got if I got a gravy. But like this, it'll stand alone by itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That hot sauce and ketchup <sighs> took it old age. Mm -hmm. And this right here. It's cold. Hands almost quivering. Mm -hmm. A good Coke. Oh. Excuse me. You get that burn in the back of your throat. Oh.
You know it's good if you can get a belch behind it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like sweet rice with salmon. Don't knock it till you try it. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. It's flying out the plate. Mm-hmm. This whole meal is right. I mean, I'm not gonna need a lot of it because I gotta save room for the pie. Mm -hmm. And the highest, the pie is still hot. Yeah. Yes, Lord. English peas. Sweet peas, early peas. Um, a friend of mine called them school day peas. Yeah. However you call them, they're good. And that right there. Oh, oh excuse me. Let me move that out of the way. Let's get to this fried pie. It's good, too good to eat. One of my YouTube subscribers, um, Ruth Ann Jones, down in Memphis, contact my niece and I got to talk to her on the phone well I got a message from her she wanted me to make some peach pies oh excuse me and some oh butter rolls oh excuse me I have to do that on another video but I just happen to have some peaches I gotta break this so you can see on the inside. Do you see that? Still nice and warm. Now you could get all fancy and eat it with a fork, but I ain't been eating pies with no fork. Not these kind. Let me speak to the Lord on this one too. Amen. And amen. I know it's going to be a have mercy behind it. Mm. The crust is um, crunchy. I don't know if you saw. See it? That's why I like mine a little brown, because I like it crunchy. I don't know if you heard it, but I heard it. Mm -hmm. I like my crust to be thin. I don't like thick pie crust. Mm -mm. This. Mm-hmm. And I like it warm. Mm -hmm. See how the crust look? Mm -hmm. It's light and it's flaky. Yeah.
Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. If you don't want to use shortening, you can always use butter. But the butter got to be real cold. Real cold. Mm-hmm. But because I put butter in my peaches, it gives it that buttery flavor. You hear that crunch on it. Mm-hmm. And I like to sprinkle granulated sugar on mine. Some people might put powdered sugar. I like the granulated. Mm -mm -mm. And I always use plain flour. You don't want to rise in your crust. Use self rising if you're gonna make biscuits. Use plain if you're gonna make pie crust. Mm-hmm. And you can also rub some butter on them when they come out if you wanted that buttery flavor. That's good. That's good too. Mm-hmm. One more bite for you. Mm. And when you're making your peaches, put as much sugar and cinnamon in it as you would like. If you want your peaches more sweeter, put more sugar. You want more of the nutmeg or the brown or the um, cinnamon in it? By all means, put more. If you want less, put less. I'm just showing you how Tennessee North do hers. Yeah. Yeah. When I was a kid, these were treats. I might put some ice cream with it or something. But my mother would say, um, let's make something sweet. She would either make tea cakes or or brownies or fried pies. We loved this as a child. Mm -hmm. See, our trees didn't cost uh, 30 and $40. Mm -mm. Something as simple as a fried pie. Yeah. Rice pudding, bread pudding, like I said, tea cakes. Oh my goodness. Be surprised what they could come up with, with just some something around the house. You know, one at a time they make snow cream. Oh my God. It wasn't polluted back then. They just set a bowl out. Get that first snow, that bowl fill up. She bring it in the house. Some vanilla and some sugar and some um, some um, canned milk. Oh, you talking about make the best ice cream? Snow cream. Yeah. Um. Do not try 
Excuse me. Do not try that now. They're liable to kill you. Um, tea cakes, they didn't call for a lot of sugar. Mm -mm. Putting in sauce. She whipped some of that up. No. Just something after the meal. Didn't take much to make us happy back then. Mm -mm. Um, we drank milk. And if you had no milk, you drank water. Yeah. Water was good then. Every now and then, you might have got some Kool-Aid here and there. Oh, man, that was some good stuff. But we didn't do Kool-Aid all the time. It was water. Please don't drink that now. Oh, hold on. Okay. So, I had to pause. My grandson wanted to tell me something. Yeah. So I'm just telling you about the simple things in life. And know. Uh, we didn't do a lot of ice in the water. We have water in the refrigerator. They don't do that anymore. And I guess I'm showing my age. We used to keep a picture of water in the refrigerator. Yeah. Then they just get ice and, you know, or buy the water. <clears throat> we just had the water pitcher. And if it was summertime, you would get the hose outside at the coldest water. Oh, my goodness. Real refreshing. We didn't get to run back and forth in the house. Because they didn't want those flies in the house. Come nighttime. Mm -mm. And my mother had a saying, tricky track. They ain't going to be tricky tracking back in the house. He said, what does that mean? It means don't be fanning that door. The screen door back then. They let the windows up, you know, with the screen in it and... Had the doors open. And um, you made too many trips in that house. You were in the house. So we didn't make too many trips in. We stayed out. Yeah. Some childhood memories. Yeah, some good memories. My mom's birthday was uh, the 8th, a couple days ago. Well, yesterday, matter of fact. If you get to see this video today, her birthday was yesterday. On Wednesday. Eighth November. She's been eighty six years young. Oh my! <clears throat> She'd have been a feisty son. She used to love to go play the lottery. I'd see people and they say, "I saw your mom." I say. Good, because I don't ever get to see her. She's always gone. She's going to play her lottery numbers and uh, Walmart. Probably where I got it from. I go to Walmart a lot. Or church. That's where you'd find her. My niece gave me some... Uh, 
some books and stuff that my mom had. She used to write down numbers and she had all these different books. She sat in her chair and cross her legs and drink her coffee and uh, work her numbers up. She hit sometimes pretty good. It was just a hobby for her. She loved to do scratch-offs. Yeah. Pop, he liked to scratch and go to the lottery house. They go together. And she had her limit. She wasn't one of those um, gamma-holic. Mm -mm. No, no. But she do it for a hobby. What I wouldn't do, what I wouldn't do to have her to here today. Just to, just to see her smile. They tell me uh, I favor her. My sister sounds like her. Boy, this lady has a lot of wisdom. She had a saying, she says, if I tell you a hen dip snuff, look up on the wing, you'll find some. Hold on. Sorry about that. I happened to look down and um, my Amish friend, he was calling to let me know um, that um, Wow, his, excuse me, this soda's got me belching everywhere. Um, about the turning greens. He don't know if they're going to, the, we had a freeze and it was kind of hard on him. But the mustards are doing well, but the turner greens, he said about 50-50. They got, they kind of took it hard. So, you know, I'm getting ready for the holidays. Christmas, well, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I've already got mine put up for Thanksgiving. So Christmas, I usually get enough to last me to Memorial Day. Yeah, that's how, that's how well I love them. So I always try to get me up enough. I put mine in quarts and the ones I use for the holidays, I put in gallon bags. Yeah, so that way I always know I got enough. My mother used to go to um, um, little neighborhood store, little neighborhood grocery store, and uh, everybody. That's where you met up with a lot of your friends and stuff, because those women be getting their stuff together for the holidays and yeah. Used to be a truck come around, you know, still doing the the summer and the late fall before Thanksgiving they have come around with the last little bit of greens they would have yeah I think I mentioned it before about the truck coming around yeah those are their due seasons yeah they get around they gather and pick those greens and they here come that truck cause those ladies would get them and uh they didn't do too much freezing. No, they got theirs and cooked them for that day. Yeah. I look forward to the holidays. Yeah. And uh, my daughter said something the other day, and she made sense. She said, Mom, things done changed. 
She's 27. Um, she said, I used to love the holidays. When Memo, my mom was living, her grandmother, and she would say, because we had Thanksgiving, we had Christmas. Now we're um, just calling it get-together, family get-togethers, because all of a sudden, they don't do holidays. They don't do Christmas. and Those are paganist holidays. They can't celebrate. She said, why are we sacrificing? We've been having Thanksgiving and Christmas, Easter dinners. Why are we sacrificing? And she just, she's right. When they took Christ out of schools and took the um, discipline away from the parent, look what happened. School shootings, um, drugs in the school, all sorts of things. that my mother would have never fathomed. She wouldn't believe it. She passed in 2004. And we didn't have all this stuff we have in now. All the school shootings and... They certainly didn't have that stuff when I was in school. I graduated in 81. We didn't have that stuff in school. At least I didn't know anything about it. And I was part of the in crowd. We didn't do stuff like that. When they started uh, letting you do X must for Christmas, that was taking Christ out of that. When they stopped letting you pray in school, And then they messed around and stopped letting you discipline. The way the kids could call the police on the parents. Hmm. Imagine that. Now some of them whoopings you got back there, they probably would have been considered child abuse. It didn't teach you violence. It taught you, don't do that. You don't want this. And it worked. Yeah. You had less violence and um, kids were scared of the parent. Not the parent scared of the school, of the kids. Yeah, parents are scared of the kids. Nowadays you got to be. Because in these day of times, Kids will fight their parents. And the kids will shoot adults. Little kids. Elementary. And that's um Wow. Boy, when I was in school, it was the paddle. Oh. Yeah, they had a paddle back then. Been over touch your toes type thing. Yeah. Now, Tennessee North never did get one of those. But I heard the story. And I saw the paddle. He didn't want none of that. Mm -mm. Some of the boys that was in my class, yeah. They told us, you don't want that. Mm -mm. 
they had that corporal punishment back then. But you didn't want none of that, so you didn't do that. Mm-mm. Yeah. I went into a I went to an all black school up until the fourth grade. And then they integrated it. Yeah. We had a, a family of white kids that came and started going to our school. They didn't have a bit of problems at all. We all got along. It was three of them, two girls and a boy. And we got along. Those were the days. I'm talking about in the 70s. Well, enough for my school days. If you're like me, you probably got some fond memories of school. That's when kids used to be kids. Yeah. I come from that generation. I know some of y'all can remember. Um, I'm finna end this video, but I'm gonna. Um, I used to get up and watch Bozo. Yeah. Love the Bozo show. They used to play the little games. I used to say, I would love to be on the Bozo show. Yeah, it's telling my age. Happy memories. So if y'all like anything about this video, give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. You know, subscribe. Tell someone about old Tennessee North. Hit that notification button in, in the corner so you'll know next time I come back with something. I want to thank you for liking the merch. Yeah. And um, the ones that um, that um, got the aprons, Check your email. I'm waiting on the um, address to some of them. So. I'm in right here. See you on the next video.